Hey everybody, it's Mod6 coming at you with another Call of Duty mobile video. And this is all about headshots. How to get headshots quickly so you can grind that gold camo out for whatever gun or all of the guns for that matter. One of the key things that's holding people back, that's limiting people from getting the gold camo that they want, I get comments all the time, requests in the DMs, how do you get headshots so that you can get those gold camos quickly? 15 headshots a game is totally reasonable with this method if you practice a bit. The keys to the rapid headshot method are loadout decisions, game mode and map choice, and the most important, which is your point of aim. Target's in sight. Woo! How does this team feel about this gold DRH? All right, to get into this rapid headshot method, the first thing we're gonna start with is the loadout. A couple of key things, the DRH is a relatively slow moving weapon, so I've got no stock on the loadout to increase mobility and ADSB. It takes care of two things with one attachment here, but we need to recover a bunch of accuracy and recoil control with our other attachments. So no stock for mobility with the DRH, Ammunition, let's get this out of the way. If you're using the DRH, you're using the 25 round OTM mag. There's no reason to use this weapon without that ammunition. For the rest of the attachments, the Ranger foregrip is all about ADS bullet spread accuracy and recoil control. The DRH has some vertical recoil and the uh, Ranger foregrip does a great job of helping us control that vertical recoil. The rear grip with granulated grip tape that ADS bullet spread accuracy is what we're going for there. And then OWC Ranger, this one is all about the exact same thing. ADS bullet spread accuracy, damage at range, which helps us get the kill with that headshot, and then vertical recoil control again. So this is a recoil control, accuracy build, and the stock built in there for mobility with the OTM mag. That's our loadout for this rapid headshot method. And then from there, the rest of the loadout, I'm working on the last couple of things for the SMRS gold. I play with the SMRS as my secondary weapon pretty much no matter the loadout. I'm coming out with a video to talk about why. And then everything else is just preference. I always keep Vulture on when I'm working on this because if you run out of ammo with this weapon, you can't keep getting headshots with the weapon. I like Agile as a perk here just to be first to the gunfight. I run that on many of my loadouts. And then this alert perk because of the map and game mode that we're on, this alert perk comes in handy to do quick turns and be able to get into the gunfight and get those headshots. All right, for our map and game mode, we are gonna be playing on hardpoint on shipment. The reason we wanna play on shipment, it's the most open small map with the fewest places to hide. Shipment has the most opportunity for constant gunfights and getting these achievements done is all about reps. You don't wanna be on a huge map where you spend your time running if Getting into a gunfight is how you get the achievement. And so hard point, I like hard point for this because if you know the rotation, you kind of always know where enemy players are gonna be moving. And so you can time the spawns in comparison to where the hard point is and position yourself well to get maybe three or four kills in a row, just increasing the number of repetitions you get. That's the whole goal with this map and game mode. The last thing we're gonna talk about is point of aim. Point of aim seems obvious because if you want to get the headshot, shoot at the head, right? But the problem with that is that most people compromise their point of aim. The biggest reason that people compromise their point of aim and stop aiming at the head consistently is because they get frustrated. Aiming at the head, it's a smaller target. You're going to be getting fewer hit markers and you're going to be getting fewer kills, maybe losing a higher percentage of gunfights than you're used to. That starts to frustrate people. They go back to their normal point of aim, which is for most people, high center mass, and they start getting more kills, but they might get a better KD 
but they definitely get fewer headshots doing that. So the discipline to continue aiming at the head, even though it's a little bit difficult to get used to, that's a key factor here. So that's about it for the three main things. We have our loadout where we focus on recoil control and accuracy. We pick a game mode and map where we get high frequency of gunfights, lots of opportunities to get into a gunfight and get a headshot. On this small map, dying is also less of a penalty. You practically spawn right on the enemy the entire time. So there's very little running to get into that gunfight. And the last thing about point of aim, it just takes some discipline to pay attention aim at the head, try and control the recoil and stay accurate and just get more consistent with each game and getting those headshots. There's one. There's two. High point of aim. Something to consider and something to pay attention to while I'm playing these games. You'll notice that I'm jumping. I'm jumping and I'm sliding a lot less than in normal gameplay. I'm not jumping or sliding because if you jump and slide, that compromises your point of aim and I want to have the highest likelihood possible of getting that headshot each time. There's two. Targets in sight. See, that's that discipline. Even though I could have dropped my point of aim and won that gunfight a little bit better, gotta keep it high, hope he doesn't kill you, get that headshot. There's another one. what I'm talking about. Bunch of headshots. Get that headshot. There we go. That's headshot. Oh, he jumped right. I've gotten that one. Headshot. So it's not the nicest move for your teammates, but the whole goal is to make the game last as long as possible. There's another headshot. Talked about, did you comment about? Oh, he kneeled into that headshot, baby. Got that one. All right, so there's one. There's two. Oh. There's three. GG, let's get that gold camo, baby. Oh, there it is. Looks like a gold terrain map. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That about does it for the rapid headshot method. This should get you all 100 headshots that you need to grind out those gold camos in 10 games or less with each rifle. Now get out there, get on shipment, knock the games out, and let me know in the comments which rifle you're working on that gold camo for. Hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon so that you get notifications when I post a new video. Let me know how this works for you in the comments, and stay tuned for my next Call of Duty mobile video. Mod 6 out.